Hi all, this is Fonorino with a video review of the Acer Liquid Mini, a member of the Liquid series from Acer and very familiar, very familiarly looking, similar to the Acer Liquid Metal. If you've seen that handset, you notice those chromed uh, strips of plastic on the top and bottom. And here we have a, a similar rounded uh, body and curvy overall design. Uh, so you also have Android 2.2 running, uh, skinned with uh, a custom made uh, skin by Acer called Breeze UI in its Ford version and you also have a 3.2 inch screen so let's take a closer look at the design before we jump into the interface of this handset. When you fire up the phone you first see a 3.2 inch screen with a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels a pretty average but still good enough for a mid-range handset so let's take a closer look to see what level of detail can you get on the Acer Liquid Mini. So it's pretty average, but uh, nevertheless, it's uh, good for a mid range handset. Also, on the front, you have the earpiece on top and four capacitive buttons standard for Android um, on the bottom. And then the bottom chrome strip has a micro USB uh, slot for charging and syncing the device, as well as a mic. And the right hand side, holds a dedicated shutter key for the camera which is pretty convenient makes uh, shooting pictures with just one hand uh, much more easier than you have uh, two buttons for controlling the volume uh, and on the left hand side the left hand side is left completely blank uh, for better better grip and then on top you have a standard 3.5 millimeter headset jack and the uh, key for locking and unlocking the device but the most uh, distinctive part of this handset is its back as you, as you can see we have the royal blue version which means that you get this uh, jazzy uh, look to your device with a blue back cover basically the difference between all these versions is the color of the back cover on the back of our liquid mini we also have a 5 megapixel camera which unfortunately is a fixed focus unit and you don't have a flash on bot on the bottom you have a speaker phone which is relatively loud so um that's overall the design of the Acer liquid mini as defined by its solid build quality and uh it's relatively light uh, lightweight with a uh, weight of uh, just above three ounces and you have a thickness of slightly more than half an inch so overall good build quality and nice design for the Acer Liquid Mini. Except for the standard accessories you get in the retail box you also uh, have a very nice looking uh, pouch with the Acer uh, sign on it and uh, looks pretty solid seems to, to be able to protect your handset uh, very good so let's take a look at it up close so here you go, pretty tight fit for the Acer Liquid Mini here. So it seems very, very well protected here and it's pretty elegant as well. So that's a nice addition by Acer, uh, including this pouch. The interface on the Acer Liquid Mini is not your standard Android interface. It's skinned heavily by Acer with this Breeze UI skin and you can notice the skinning right from the start. So let's uh, unlock the device and you can already see that you have something like a page in the beginning with information about missed calls, new messages and the date. So uh, we kind of swipe that away and uh, you have the drop down which is also modificated and you can see that it's in a couple of pages showing you uh, the apps that are running in the notifications bar and you have shortcuts to things like your wi-fi and bluetooth settings and finally you have the clock and alarm when you go back to your home screen of course you can flick from uh, from left to right to get uh, your most recent history and you can easily switch between tasks using this and then uh, a flick to the left uh, takes you to the media menu where you can take a look at all your pictures uh, music you can as you can see you can rotate your uh, music card and select it in a pretty neat way but unfortunately it lags a bit and you also have an even bigger lag when you switch to video mode here so when it comes to the basic functionality, you have a uh, standard Android Froyo experience. You have your Google synchronized uh, contacts and uh, keypad. Uh, when, when you start to type something like a message, you get a slightly small uh, keyboard. So uh, that's what you get in uh, portrait mode and uh, 
So if we just stop this right now, we're in the uh, default stock Froyo browser and that's the keyboard you get. So if you long hold the letter, you get this uh, visual guidance, which is pretty useful. But unfortunately, when you start typing quickly, this disappears. So it's kind of not the, not the best experience you can get on a mobile keyboard. And if you switch to landscape mode like this, you get a bigger keys, which are definitely of much help on a 3.2 inch screen like this one. And again, the same thing applies here. When you hold, long hold a letter, you get this visual guidance. And when you type quickly, unfortunately, you don't have it. So now let's try to open a web page with the stock browser and see uh, if, it, if uh, the browser manages Flash and uh, if it can open our page. So here we are in the browser menu of the... Uh, the browser of the Acer Liquid Mini. As you can see, our page will take a couple of seconds to load as it has a lot of graphics in it. Unfortunately, flash content, banners and uh, movies won't uh, load at all. Uh, this is due to the slowish 600 megahertz processor. But uh, maybe that's a good thing because uh, overall the pages uh, load in a relatively fast manner. And you can see you can use double tap to zoom in and out. And uh, of course, you have support for multi-touch, which uh, works kind of slowish, but uh, really not that much of a lag here. So browsing is a uh, is a pretty nice experience on the Acer Liquid Mini overall. When it comes to media playback, the uh, the, the handset doesn't support many formats like encoded video. But let's take for, let's first take a look at the camera and the, all the options it offers. So here's the camera application, the Acer Liquid Mini. You have a uh, and right now we're in the camcorder mode so you have very limited options in camcorder mode just you can change your white balance and quality of the clips you're taking and finally uh, when we switch to to the camera uh, you see there's a slightly more options but unfortunately pictures taken with the ace liquid mini tend to have a, a yellowish hue to them and uh, uh, so they're not exactly accurately colored and they have they lack in sharpness as well so you might be might uh, want to look for a different handset if you're very keen uh, on using your phone as a camera and uh, in, in, in the same uh, regard you can also uh, take a look at the camera which is 5 megapixel unit but unfortunately it's a fixed focus unit so macro shots are a no-go on the on this handset as well so let's take a look at the pictures uh, here on the it's a liquid mini as you can see there's a standard uh, gallery on Froyo so, so it loads pretty fast and uh, of course it supports the acceler accelerometer the office package on the AC Liquid Mini is represented with the limited version of Docs to Go, which allows you to only view files and not edit them. To edit files, you have to, as you can see, it, the ex simple Excel file we opened uh, opens pretty fast. But uh, to uh, have to, to be able to edit documents in Excel, you have to purchase the full version of the program. And currently, you can only use a this to view documents you have support for micro sd cards for, for up to with up to 32 gigabyte capacity so that's a nice addition you can load up your documents music and uh, other files on that uh, micro sd card one of the applications that comes pre-installed on the Acer Liquid Mini is a social jogger, which is something like a Twitter and Facebook aggregator for your phone. You go, you can see our uh, feed here on Facebook, and you have this part of a wheel that you can rotate. But if you try to do it quickly, you can definitely notice some lag. And it's not exactly the most accurate application out there. Uh, and currently, it's running pretty good. But if you have a couple of applications in the in the background, the situation gets pretty choppy. So there's a social jogger application. When it comes to software, the Acer Liquid Mini comes with a 512 megabytes of RAM and 600 megahertz first generation Qualcomm processor, which unfortunately isn't capable of. Uh, running some graphically intense tasks and namely games like the Speedforge 3D which uh, you can find on the Android market and you can see the, the error comes up here. So if you want to do some uh, more gaming on your device you might want to look at, at a different device uh, overall but if you're looking at just some basic gaming like 
things like Angry Birds, you'll still be able to play those. So let's take a look at the, the performance of Angry Birds, and that's the uh, St. Patrick uh, Day's version of Angry Birds Seasons, which takes a, a, a couple of seconds to load, but once it's loaded, it should, it should run uh, pretty pretty good, so I haven't really played it. So that, that's the first level you get here, and uh, it's not the fastest uh, performing game out there but you'll still be able to play Angry Birds and you can already notice the frame rates are pretty horrid but it is playable so that's what we're talking about not the best experience for gaming so finally with the Ace Liquid Mini you have some good features uh, such as a, a relatively good 3.2 inch screen with a resolution of 320 by 480 and you have a very nice uh, design with uh, different colors making the phone look pretty fresh and uh, jazzy overall but uh, except for that you have some uh, major disturbances uh, most importantly is the noticeable lag even in the in the main menu sometimes you you have this lag and uh, you also don't get flash in the browser and you have a, a somewhat uh, slowish uh, first generation processor by Qualcomm uh, clocked at 600 megahertz and uh, unfortunately you have a pretty poor camera as well uh, with bad performance despite its 5 megapixels other altern alternatives in this segment uh, include phones like the Samsung Galaxy Ace which currently sells for around 330 uh, off contract so it offers a pretty good 3.5 inch screen and also runs on uh, Android Froyo. You can also look at, at the LG Optimus One with a similarly sized screen. Uh, its screen is 3.2 inches and it also runs Android Froyo but without any lag whatsoever. And so overall, uh, except for the nice design, you have some lag and if you want to take this handset, it's not that bad but uh, you have to overlook some of its flaws. For more details and an in-depth look at the Ace Liquid Mini, check out formarina.com.